arrows. Can't see what is the sculpture. <laughs> hey guys, that's the thing here, and welcome back to the part two of I Am Dead. So in the previous episode, we already found Peter, and now we have to find the Val. Her full name is Valerie something. Okay, so this part is quite big and very gorgeous. Let us start with this. Let us start with this fox first. Yeah. As usual, I'm just gonna go through the main story. I'm not. Gloves. What? I love them. Okay. I can't get enough gloves. I'm not going to find all the collectibles. Let me just go through the main story. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Give me the gloves. Okay. I stole farmer's glove. Okay. So, uh, and in, can I click on this? Yep. I stole the fisherman's glove. Okay, so the the animal's memory is very very short. Give me this. Me. I saw that girl out in my woods riding that strange bumpy beast around again. Strange bumpy beast? What is that? Oh, a camel? She really seemed to love that awful creature. What? Okay, it's a camel. Let me click! Why can't I click? Ah, okay. This was an opportunity I wasn't going to miss. So we have to find the exact point and pinpoint it to click. That There is a little bit of the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me the glove. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> Lovely gloves. <laughs> Why do you love gloves so much? Okay. Oh, I always find a glove. did suspect there might be something in those rumors about camels on the island. All that time, and Val never let on. <laughs> Bless you, Val. Camels. Hey, the glove is just here. Just give me the glove. Hey, no, 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 no. It's it's not. It's not same. It. Oh, I. I thought it's straight up this one already. It's not the same. No. Sad. <laughs> okay. Looks like I still have to go around and search. Search for the glove. Okay. Is there a chance that you will hide inside? Ah, oh, no, no, no. I cannot. I forgot. Oh, I cannot. I stole. I stole Wait. the fisherman's glove. I forgot. I cannot click on them again. Just like that. Okay. Aha! Wait. Ah, this is the glove. It looks different in the icon though. But we all know it's this glove. Just like the one in the memory. Yep. Hey Morris, I bet you wish you were alive so you could rob me with this glove. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. I saw someone. I think I saw. Wait. I'm getting the scent of Grinkins again, Morris. I'll pop up to let you know when we're close to one. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm not. I'm not going to press on the Grinkins. I'm. I'm sorry, but let me just go through the main story. After my wife Penny's death, 
I uh, to find the way I play a game is I always go it through the main story hard, but, only. Know, up a lip and all that. Unless the side quest is to keep busy. important, it adds like add something else to the main story, I will play it. But if it's just like for the collectibles, I don't go for it. What is um, what's important is the main story, right? Looking for something we could do together, I bought Valerie a set of paints. But she never even opened them. I was cross at first, but asked myself, what would Penny do? So I decided to let it go. Wait. Her father? This is her father. Okay, is this? Yep, this is the one. Then one day I managed to talk her into coming into the park with me to paint some of the nature she loves so much. She wasn't very enthusiastic, but agreed to give it a try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. It was a disaster. Valerie simply didn't have the temperament for painting. She had a huge silly tantrum and threw all the paints away. Okay. <laughs> She's not suitable for art. Wait. I guess this is the one. Yeah. I told her I wasn't having this kind of childish behavior, and I told her to stay in her room until she had calmed down. <laughs> I wished Penny was still with us. She would have known what to do with the child. Okay, her mother is dead. What is she doing? Climbing out. <laughs> From the window. Mm. Very hard that to lose a parent. It was never going to be easy after her mum died, but he always did seem distracted with his fancy art projects. All right. All right. Give me that thing. It looks like it could be here. Maybe in the box? Nope. Oh okay. <laughs> it's it's kind of tricky, you know. It it's there, but it's it doesn't look exactly like the one in the icon. So if you miss it, you might be wondering <laughs> yeah, where the hell is really this? Wasn't for Val, was thing. it? But here it looks like cookie, you know. The color of the cookie. What is this? Is it a dog or what? What is this? What is this? Oh It's a cat and I don't know what is that Never mind Let's go for another memory Okay, here we go This girl with a big speck. Oh. I spent the summer of 83 with Henry Outram, Laird of Shelmiston, Outram. in his grand hall working on a new piece. It was supposed to be about the volcano, but once I arrived, I found myself particularly taken by all the veils around the island. What do we have here? Okay. What is this? Henry was a delightful Whale. host, oh. always excited to have us bright young artists around, and always ready with a charming question or a fortifying glass of something. Wait, is it the one? Is this the one? Yeah. His daughter, 
I think her name was Mallory or Valerie or something. Valerie. She was usually outside roaming the grounds. Henry said she was discovering herself and learning self-reliance through independent play. She seemed feral to me. So this is another artist. One day, I came across the perfect finishing touch to my sculptural masterpiece, but it turned out to belong to the wretched child. I tried to explain to her why I needed it, but she snatched it away and walked off. Sculpture, okay. Uh huh. Is this one? Is it? Yeah. I went to Henry, thinking he could make her give me the boat. But to my astonishment, Henry told me it was up to her if she wanted to give it to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Henry called his daughter and we all talked about it. When Henry suggested that maybe I could buy the boat, her little eyes lit up. It cost me 200 pounds for that little wooden boat. <laughs> but crap, okay. it was worth it. 200 pounds. That's a lot. What am I seeing here? Oh, 200 pounds. Check. Uh, the board. Henry was a good dad at heart, caring about Val's feelings and, and treating her like a grown-up even when she was little. Partly how she became so independent, I reckon. I know it was tough on him, but they both turned out pretty well. All right. Uh, I think this is a tough one to do. I suppose this is a uh, pretty tough. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, once I know how the game mechanics work in this game, it's, I wonder how many people it's even not hard. saw this. It's not hard to find out. Okay, and this place doesn't have that much of stuff to look for so it's pretty good okay hi no 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 i want this old man eh uh, give me the old man okay hey wait the famous sculptor Vernon oh, Russell that, this is was working on a memory huge statement of the Henry in my Outrams. A statue of a camel with my head. When I saw it, I felt quite uncomfortable, but I didn't want to upset him. Poor Vernon could be awfully temperamental, sinking into dark moods for days. What are we looking at? Okay. The week before the public unveiling, Is Vernon this? had me visit the statue. He Is needed to make some uh... final adjustments to the face. Valerie came along too. She looked like thunder. She hated that statue and wasn't afraid to show it. I couldn't help thinking how like her mother she was. Who is this? It looks like something else. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's a sculpture. When the statue was revealed, the, the nose was missing. Or... Fortunately, we all managed to cover our surprise and act like nothing was wrong. So no one was any the wiser. Some fellow from the Times wrote a glowing review, so Vernon wasn't too glum mm. about it. Okay. I... I think this is the one, yeah. Yep. I'm pretty sure I know what happened to that I nose. Can't see you. What is the sculpture? <laughs> what is the statue, not sculpture? Oh. 
Valerie <laughs> the old is growing up. <laughs> Good for you, Valerie. Your mother would have been proud of you. Suddenly, she's, she's so big already. Mm -hmm. What are we looking for? <laughs> Yeah, Val told me about What the heck this. is this? She had a whole speech prepared in case they figured out it was her who cut that nose off. But she never even needed it. What are we looking for? <laughs> what the heck is this? It might be hard to search for this. Might be. Because I don't know what it's. I don't know what is that though. Just need to find something that I can click. Is that your <laughs> the nose? There's nothing else I can click. I don't I don't even know what is that. I think it's the nose, right? I think it's the nose. Is there anything that I can nothing else I could nothing else I could press? Uh, it's gonna be hard. Oh wait. No, I just wanna see is is there any possibility that it will be on? It will be on their body? No. The famous sculptor. I have to stop pressing. I have to stop pressing them. Hmm. The weird thing is there's nothing. There's nothing else for me to click already. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's around here somewhere or what I don't know. Could it be this guy? I saw something. I thought I saw something else. Bush? Uh, this is harder than I thought. Wait, wait, I can keep going in. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? What is this? Okay. If I would guess, it's Ooh, this many layers of bushes together. I was able to even lift it. To click, clicking inside to go into the bush. Wow. Wow. Mind blowing. <laughs> okay. It's inside. The bush. So many layers of bush. My god. They're so good at hiding the stuff. Okay, where are you? The last one, yes. Let's go. Let's go for the last one. 
In the last summer, before our GCSEs, Val and me spent a lot of time together, usually wondering how we could get our hands on something to drink. Should I click on this? Yeah. No one on this stupid little island would serve us, though. <laughs> stupid little island. Am I supposed to click? No. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm supposed, I'm supposed to click. Click. Yes. One day, There's a big camera. We were hanging around on the allotments near the quay when we spotted something. A big camera behind here. <laughs> Okay. And so, later that night... Why are you trying to smuggle? Are you stealing we stuff? We the woods <laughs> behind Val's house to drink it. Sitting on top of that ancient stone that they say protects the island. But there was no way we were going to get through it all. So we decided to bury the rest. Bury... Bury what? Oh, okay. Let me click. Let me click. <laughs> a few weeks later, we went to dig it up again, but couldn't remember where we dug the hole. Okay. I'm supposed I have to find this. All right, time to dig up. <laughs> there is so much of our history buried on this island. Stories everywhere, right under your feet. <laughs> right under your feet. It's time to dig up. Dig up the stuff. What? Okay, I think it the the Grand King is here, but never mind. Never mind. Okay. T plus. So what can I press? Hmm. Oh no no no. I really have to stop pressing on In <laughs> these the characters. Hmm. Oh, there's one thing about the control, the the camera control it's not too Yeah, it's here. It's not too friendly to use. Sometimes when you wanna click on something, it's being blocked by something in front. That's why I click well, clicking on the characters. This smells incredible. I'm getting scallops. I'm getting peaty bogs. I'm getting roast lamb. What is this? This is a uh, alcohol, right? Wine or something? I don't know. Okay, time to go and find Wow. Oh, we did it! Oh yes, I know what Val smells like now. Her signal is wafting through to me very clearly. Time to fly. Time to fly. Hi, really Sparky. Where are you, Sparky? Okay, Wow is there. Uh, give me all your memories. Fly. Did I miss something? No. I guess that's all. Yep. Alright, that's all. Welcome back, wow. <laughs> How are you? Oh hi, what's that face? <laughs> Morris? Morris Lopton? Is that really you? And Sparky? Val! Oh, it's so good to see you again! You too! 
You're looking very, um... Um, yeah. Dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But quite good, considering. Hello, Val. And Sparky talks now. Death certainly has been strange. What brings you by? Well, we're trying to find a replacement custodian. You've surely seen the volcano. Oh, yes. Poor Aggie. Must be very tired. Aggie? Aggie, okay. Aggie is the current custodian. Oh, well then, yes. We were hoping you might replace Aggie. Oh, Morris. That's... that's some ask. Oh, you can do it, Val. I'm flattered, but those are enormous shoes to fill. And I'm not like you, Morris. I don't love this town like you do. And if I'm being honest, I can't abide all those arty types and mainlanders tromping around. I can't speak for them. This job isn't for me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Val. But, uh, well, I understand. Thank you. <laughs> It's been so nice to see you again. You too, Val. Um, Sparky, I'd love to spend some more time chatting with Val. Oh, I'm sorry, Morris. We really need to keep this search up. That volcano is looking dire. Come back later, Morris. I'll be here. Oh, well, all right, Val. I'll find you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sure it's the last spirit. That is willing to become the custodian. Oh, slow down, Sparky. I need to get some things straight. No time, Morris. We need to find the next prospect. Well, it's just that I don't quite understand what we're doing. We're looking for the custodian. Well, I get that bit, Sparky, but what does the custodian have to do exactly? Oh, well, um... It's hard to explain with your human words, but, uh, the custodian kind of mingles with the island, becomes a part of it. A part of the rock, uh, the volcano. <laughs> yes, okay. the rock and the sea and the animals and plants. The custodian becomes a part of all of these things. It becomes part of the island spirit. And you give up being a ghost? Yeah. Well, a walking around, talking kind of ghost. Stop being someone who can go into the West. It's quite a sacrifice. Oh, wow. Oh, no wonder Val doesn't want to fill those shoes. Aggie must be a legend. Well, oh, she really is. I always thought there are those folks destined to be mayors and, I suppose, custodians. And then there are people like me and Val. Destined for smaller lives. What? Small? Morris, your heart is as big as the island. Everyone knows that. Yeah, I suppose I'm more like one of those island oddities in the museum. Yeah, and they were always the visitors' favourites. Now, we need to move on. Next up is Ogden Beckett. Ogden. In the old town. Beckett. Ogden it is. I'm right behind you, Sparky. Ogden. Oh. So it has to be those who already died for 1,000 days. If not, Morris can be the next custodian. Oh, old town. So, Ogden next, eh? I'll be glad to see him again. Mm, his music always hurt my ears, but he was good at chin scratches. Oh, <laughs> lovely guy. Oh, look! The ferry's coming in. There'll be loads of tourists all over this quayside soon. Well, I suppose they won't get in our way much anymore, eh, girl? <laughs> Alright. Ogden Beckett. Talented multi-instrumentalist. Okay, leader of the Selma Stone Stewart Band. A keen cricketer. Oh, okay. Alright. This place is big. Come. Oh, it's it's really big. Oh my god. It's really really big. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the first one. 
Give me your memory. <laughs> Ogden's childhood friend. I remember we was walking home from school, a bunch of us, and I told him my granddad said the lad had a live battery and camel living somewhere in the woods. Okay, give me a complete image. Yes. Everyone laughed, but I told them it was true. Ogden didn't believe me. Someone would have seen it. He dared me to climb in and prove it. I told him he'd have to come with me. Climbing the... Uh... Give me, give me, give me. Okay. Sneaking past the big house, we were almost caught by the gamekeeper and had to run. Hell for leather for the woods. <laughs> Stick man. <laughs> we reached the trees out of breath. I was bent double and leant against a tree. Ogden had better breath control and he recovered quickly. He saw it first. The clouds parted. The moon shone down, and Ogden gasped, and then I did too. Was it a cam was. camel again? Give me the camel. Yes. The next day, we were kicking ourselves. We had no proof. No one was going to believe us. A camel. But we knew what we saw. Everything is about a camel in this game. Camo, Camo. Oh, yeah, he was a couple of years above these chaps at school. Oh, and he's right. No one believed them. We gave them so much stick. <laughs> All right. Earth. A Camo statue. Wow, there are so many stuff here. There's so many stuff here. Okay. So this is the pen, so I cannot open this. Mm -hmm. Is it here? Yeah. No, 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 no. give me this one. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, there are, there are a lot of stuff in this room. Wow, it's not easy to search. Camels are so obviously a made-up animal. Humans will believe any old rubbish. Okay. Wake up. Bye. Let's go to the next Getting one. the scent of Grenkins again, Morris. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't want grandkids. No, 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 no. I'm not going to click on the grandkids. Just give me, give me the memories. Give me the memories. We were 14 when we started going out. What? Me and my friend Cassia okay. started a beach clean at the weekend, and Ogden turned up with his mate Godfrey. I had no idea Ogden liked him. Oh. He was the tallest in our year, and we all fancied him. The girl he likes. By the time we reached the little cove at the north end of the beach, he'd asked me to come to a concert he was playing in. I said yes. Okay. We'd been going out for a few years when I applied to Floristry College on the mainland. I didn't tell Ogden. I didn't believe I'd get in and didn't want him to think I was trying to get away from him. Ogden might have looked mature and confident, but he was a gentle soul, not nearly as sure of himself as he looked. Okay. Give me, give me. But I okay. did get in, <laughs> and he was gutted. I felt terrible. I didn't want to hurt Ogden. He said he didn't mind, but I could see he was covering. Oh, My last sad. week on Shelmerston was really hard. Every time I saw him, it felt so strange. They have to separate. And I couldn't sleep. 
Okay, give me the whole picture. Yep. Top. Finally, on my last day, <laughs> I made a decision. I would take an apprenticeship at the garden center on the island instead, so we could stay together. It felt like the right thing to do. I would tell Ogden in the morning. What do you want to tell him? I love you. <laughs> Come on. But when I okay. opened the door the next day, I found Ogden's sousaphone left on the doorstep. Sousaphone? What? I was is terrified. That? What did it mean? What had he done? Sousaphone? I only know about saxophone. Is this something? Yeah. What, I ran down to his house, my instrument. heart in my mouth. His mum, she never did like me, was a little bit smug. She told me Ogden had okay. sailed off to New Zealand. He was headed to Christchurch, she said, and didn't know when he was coming back. Then she shut the door. That is so abrupt. Okay, sorry. Okay. I was more than a bit tearful, but you know, looking back, I think we both needed to have a bit of an adventure. Let's go to adventure. Give me the boat. Boat, boat, boat. Yes. <laughs> I spent a lot of time with Sally during this period. We used to meet up quite often when she returned from Floristry College, and I was working at the museum. For a while, I thought maybe we would get together. But she always seemed a bit out of reach. Sort of distracted. Well, it makes sense. Sure, yeah, she's really so old. Really, really old. Okay, the this one. So easy to find. The glass bottle with the boat inside. that get in there? Yeah, how did that big thing get inside a small, small glass bottle? So we are going through the wholesome story of some of the people in this island. Okay. Who else? else okay see you come on music teacher bootlegger I remember when a young Ogden asked to join the Shelmerston Silver Band I recognized his talent immediately he could play anything that lad literally anything literally anything Yeah. Eventually he settled on the sousaphone, which he always insisted on playing with his lucky bronze mouthpiece. Sousaphone. <laughs> Gimme. One evening after the silver band played a storming concert in the camel, Ogden and Sally got it into their heads to go for a night <laughs> swim in the harbour. Young love and all that. Ogden left his mouthpiece behind. And when we came back the next morning to pack up, it had disappeared. It has disappeared. So I have to find a mouthpiece. No. A little bit more. Give me. Okay. It really rattled him. Ogden was worried he wouldn't be able to perform without it. But of course, next time we played, he was just as good as ever. Didn't need any lucky mouthpiece, huh, Ogden? <laughs> okay, let me find a mouthpiece later. Give me mouthpiece. He could play anything, that lad. He could play anything. What a legend. Okay, Ogden mouthpiece. Was so talented. 
A real virtuoso. Oh, I loved listening to him play. Oh, speak for yourself, Morris. It was a terrible racket. <laughs> the dog doesn't like the sound. Okay. It's a lot. A wow, okay. That's a lot to look for, but I think I saw it. Okay. I just used the scroll on the mouse to scroll inside and ow. I didn't know there's a basement they hidden seem under. To have been using it as a funnel. These bootleggers are very resourceful. <laughs> funnel. Funnel. There's one huge space under it. Wow. Alright. Give me. Come on. Simon Grant, captain of the Sal Shalmerstone cricket team. It was the day of the island cricket match out on the volcanic sand spit. We had lost to Appledore for the past three years and it was my first year as captain. I didn't want another loss on my watch. Ogden had just come back from New Zealand and told me he'd be up for it. I wasn't sure. I remembered Ogden from school. He was lanky and good in the field, batting. but batting. Batting, mm. batting. Not sure. What are we looking at? <laughs> I'm not sure why am I looking at. Oh, okay. What a long way to go. Ogden showed up with his own bat. He told me he'd won it in a pub in Dunedin and that it had belonged to a famous New Zealand player. I wondered whether I should put him into bat at all, but Ogden whispered to me that he'd been playing on deck all the way home. I knew Ogden wasn't a bluffer, but he was never the guy who got picked for the first team at school. Still, I had nothing to lose. Cricket. Give me. <laughs> Ogden hit a six with his first stroke. We went wild. And just when I thought it must be a fluke, he hit another and another. He was a machine. Wow. A legendary. <laughs> a legend. <laughs> Ogden hit so many cricket balls out into the sea that we had to stop play. We'd run out. It was a stunning win, and we carried Ogden back across the sand and into the camel. Even though he'd won the match pretty much single-handedly, he insisted it was all down to the bat and plenty of practice. Ogden was solid gold. What else? Why am I... S okay, look at the ball. Does that mean anything? You no, know, sometimes, sometimes the beverage just keep shivering, shivering here and there. Okay, I think I saw it. Yeah. So How's this that? guy is a legend. What a great day that was! <laughs> and we've beaten Appledore every year since. Those poor chaps never did recover from Ogden's incredible batting. <laughs> oh well, we are looking for the boar. Okay, it's an octopus. Why is there an octopus inside? Okay, I have to look for. Wow. Okay, that is a beehive. What? Cricket boy is inside a beehive. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, it, it doesn't make sense at all. But this. Hey, Morris, remember when we found one of these heavy balls on the beach and I dropped it on your toe? Okay. It's just uh, how the developer decided to design the game. How they wanna hide all the stuff in this game. 
So, just enjoy the game. Hmm, there. We need to find the last bubble. Uh, which is not around here. Maybe. Do I have to go inside? Do I have to go inside? Some of the... Some of the rooms. Yep. I guess so. Mm, yeah, I need to find. Okay, I've checked here and there. This one? There's no one here. Yeah, there's no one here. Okay, so... Oh! I think I miss him. He's just... He's just at the front. The beginning of the... I miss left side. Ogden so much. And for the first month, there was no letter at all. I took my place at college on the mainland without knowing how he was feeling. It was a shock how low it made me. Even though I was working with flowers, my dream job. I threw myself into making friends and working as hard as I could. I wondered about him traveling the world without me and without his sousaphone. What he was doing, how he was feeling. Sousaphone. <laughs> Wait, is not this? Oh, this is the one? Yeah. Then the letters started to Ever feel so weird sometimes. It's Each in one came the complete shit for country. two or three times one from already. Valparaiso, another from but I still Dakar. cannot click. I wrote back and told Ogden about my course, trips to Kew Gardens, which were amazing. And Ogden told me about his voyage, watching dolphins and flying fish, crossing the equator. Sometimes, we were both lonely. We poured out our hearts to each other. In a funny way, I think the letters made us closer than ever. Ogden's wife. Come on. Go into shape. Aha, uh -huh, okay. When he arrived in Christchurch, he'd send me flowers pressed in his letters. I sent him a shell from home, and then he sent me a New Zealand halfpenny. It was my favourite. On one side was the head of a Maori tiki. Ogden told me it was lucky. Okay. So we have to find the. Uh... New Zealand's hey penny penny. I came back to the island, and when my father died, I opened up my own florist shop on the quay. I tucked the halfpenny under the front step for luck, polished up Ogden's sousaphone and put it in the window. They both brought me luck, and the shop flourished. Flowers. One day, Ogden showed up at the shop, completely out of the blue. He told me there was nowhere like Shelmiston, and no one like me. I was so thrilled to see him, I asked him to marry me there and then. Oh, 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 wow. He said yes. Wow. And the other way round. Wow. They really love each other. Can I press on this? Is it a complete? Yeah, it's a complete photo. The Lord of Shelmerston. It always pulls people back when they try to move away. They were a lovely couple, Sally and Ogden. Okay, time to find 
that thing. Is it here? Nope. <laughs> Why is there a guy inside? Mm -hmm. Is it in your back? Is it in your back? No. Aha! Aha! Easy. <laughs> Good thing about being Time dead. to find I'll never have to deal with counting change again. Ogden. Telescope. It kind of makes sense in some way. Ah, uh, yes. A very distinctive odor indeed. I reckon I can find him from this. Here I come, Ogden. Come on, let's summon Sparky. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, give me all your memory. Hey, that's all. Okay. I thought I have to go to the right side, so it's on the left. Hello, Ogden. Use the phone. Oh, okay. oh, this feels so good. <laughs> Terrific to see you, Morris. Oh, it's great to see you too, mate. Have a stretch, Ogden. We have a question for you. Sparky, owner of the very finest singing voice on the island. What can I do for you? Well, it's about the custodian. We need a replacement. Ah, yes. I've heard that volcano rumbling. Poor Aggie must be very tired. Yes, she is. We need a replacement. Oh. 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 You want me to be the custodian? I, 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 I'm honored, but uh, I can't. Are you sure? The island Are is you sure dire. about that? <laughs> I know, and I sympathize, but Sally is the other half of me. I need to watch over her. Everything else may be changing, but she's my constant, and I'm hers. I need to go into the West with her when it's her time. Yes, I... Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. You two it's always so did have an enviable connection. Such a sad voice. We were very lucky to find each other. And I'm still lucky just... just to watch over her. Makes this place still feel a bit like home, even as it changes. So I'm going to stay. Uh, but listen, once you found the custodian, come back and enjoy a sniff of that beer in the camel with me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, sure, Hogton. Well, uh, see you around. See you around. Uh, two more to go. Oh, night time. Well. After all these years, Ogden still carries that torch for Sally. I wish I'd been so lucky. Things I should have done. You were busy with the museum, Morris. And you did walks and you did fetch and belly rubs and... <laughs> yeah, all right, belly all right, yes. I was very busy. Thank you for reminding me. You did plenty. But now you need to find the next custodian. Hey, how long has Aggie been custodian? No, oh, a little while now. You've met her, actually. I have? Well, her body, anyway. In the museum. What? Her, her body? In, in, in the museum? Oh, wait! That's right, Morris. The bog lady. The bog lady of Shelmerston. What, that's Aggie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's her body, anyway. Her spirit is all around us, of course. But Aggie is... Bronze Age, uh, 3,000 years. She's been custodian all that time. Yep. Wow. No wonder she's tired. More oh, tired every minute. Thousand we need years. to get to the next prospect. Greg Litherland Greg. at the campsite. Hmm. 
Greg. Okay. 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 Two more spirits to go. I wonder who is the last one. I'm sure it, the last spirit will become the custodian. The one part of the island I never spent much time at. I never cared for camping. Although we did find a lot of Bronze Age goods down here. Really fascinating bits and bobs. I reckon this was an important place once, and not just to shell us. Oh, oh, there's so many great smells here. Oh, and so many rabbits to chase. Stop it, Sparky, okay. you have a job to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I suppose I do like it better up here now I don't have to worry about combing all those burrs out of your fur. At least this part of Shelmerston isn't changing too much. Yes. Now let's sniff out Greg. Yeah, I always found Greg a bit difficult. That business with the owl of his. Uh, he wasn't a bad guy at heart. Just liked animals a bit more than people sometimes. Maybe. But who can blame him? Let's find some people who remembered him. Dig a little deeper. Yeah, memories of Greg Leatherland. Here we come. Here we come, Grab Litherland. Okay, he runs a Napku campsite. Wow. Keen bird watcher, nature lover, and a campaigner for protection of Moros. Huge fan of shallow racing. Okay. Alright. Let me just slightly explore a little bit. Wait. Wait. Before I end this, let me just try and see what am I looking at first. Because there, there's no bubble. Oh, okay. There's one, just one. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess we will figure it out in the next episode. So that's all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm sure next one we will be able to find out. Who will be the custodian? My bet is on the last spirit, or it could be someone else. At first, I was thinking it might be Morris, but Morris is not qualified because he's he's he has not been dead for more than one thousand days. That's the requirement of the custodian. Okay, so we we'll meet again in the next one. See ya.